My name is Max Aaron, and I just went to take my SD card out of my laptop, and I found out that a piece of where you have to plug the charger in broke. Um, but anyway, a month ago today, I had my top surgery consultation with Dr. Fisher in Baltimore, and I talked about it briefly on Instagram, but I wanted to talk about it more in depth here in case you didn't see it or if you don't follow me on Instagram. So sometime in like November, I asked my therapist about different top surgeons nearby and like who would do what and the first person that she recommended to me was Dr. Rumor in Philadelphia but that was the most convenient for us because Philly is only like not even an hour away so my mom sent her an email saying like I'm 14 and I've like been out for like a year and stuff and then I went to get surgery and she was recommended by the therapist so then we got an email back from her saying that they could like do a consultation and everything and do all they need to do like beforehand but they couldn't do the surgery until I was 16 so that was uh kind of not good <laughs> because chances are if I get a consultation while I'm 14 things may or may not be different two years from now so I'd probably need another consultation so I decided to have the nerve to ask my parents um how far away is Baltimore <laughs> so Dr. Fish is about a little less than two hours away I think but it's a bit of a hike but um Two hours is a little bit better than two years, so. Also, by the way, a lot of people started DMing me, um, like, what surgeon I went to, and they gave me, like, their information and stuff, and they're like, yeah, I'm not even out yet, I haven't even cut my hair, I'm like, why are you looking for surgeons? Because <laughs> chances are they're probably people that are, like, younger and still dependent on their parents, so if you're, like, my age, don't rush to get this done, like, it's really a process and you don't want to like push all this at your parents like right away it's like gonna be a lot for them and that's gonna be happening too soon like I've been out for like a year and a half and I've just recently had my top surgery consultation like worry about one thing at a time don't rush into this but anyway we got a hotel in Baltimore and we stayed down there for like uh, one night but two days so my consultation was later in the afternoon on Monday and I don't know why but I was like really nervous we get called back and it's me my mom and my dad in the room and we're just like answering questions with this one lady and it was like standard stuff like how long have you been out for how long have you been on hormones and all that jazz so then Dr. Fisher comes in and then what she has to do is like measurements and stuff which is kind of weird I was a bit uncomfortable because obvious reasons and she said that apparently I'm one of the like best possible candidates for keyhole surgery if you don't know what that is I'm not gonna go into detail because um people from school watch my videos so I was really excited because my doctor in Philly told me that that kind of surgery is thousands of dollars less than like the regular ones where like you get the scars like right here and that's uh, double incision so I didn't need to get that. I wouldn't have the scars right here. And it's a lot less invasive than that surgery. So it like takes a lot less work. But um, turns out it's not thousands of dollars cheaper. And <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second. But she also tells us that because I'm not 18 and I haven't been on hormones for a full year, insurance is not going to cover anything because um, great. Yeah, the insurance is really strict, and it doesn't matter if you're 17 or on hormones for 364 days, they won't cover the surgery if you don't meet the requirements. So then after that, Dr. Fisher tells us about, like, all the complications that could happen. There was, like, three main ones, and it was, I kind of forget what they are. So, you know, not fun things, but nothing that's meant to, like, scare you out of getting the surgery. It's just, like, this could happen, and you need to be aware of that. So then we go into the other room, and then that's when we start to discuss pricing and stuff. So I've seen people that are getting, like, double mastectomy. I can't speak. The other surgery. <laughs> people that are getting, like, double mastectomy, and they're paying around, like, 4000 or $5,000, and I... Honestly, thought that my surgery would cost somewhere between like two thousand or three thousand. I don't know why. I was very, very wrong, and 
I'm only telling you the price for like informational purposes, not to be like, mm, listen to how much money I got because honestly, we don't just have money growing in our backyard or like flying out of our butts that we can just throw wherever we want to. So I almost threw up when uh, the lady handed us the paper saying that the surgery was going to cost $8,645. That's like three or four times as much as I thought it would cost. And she said that when you pay them, you don't have to pay them anymore after that. That covers all of the like post-operation, like checkups and everything, and all of the like anesthesia. Like it isn't just the surgery. It says on the paper that just the surgery costs five thousand dollars, but then everything else added on is where all that extra is coming from. So I don't know if other people whose surgeries are costing like four thousand, five thousand dollars aren't being told that they have to pay like a lot extra for other things. But luckily at this place they have um I totally forget what it's called, but like you can it's the thing that you can do for braces and stuff where you pay a certain amount monthly and just pay it off for the longest that you can go is two years with this place. Who is calling me? Hi mom. Hello. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to pay it all at the same time, but to schedule a date, you have to pay at least 10%. So they make sure that you're not like ripping them off and just running away. So my surgery is scheduled for July 12th and we have to go to a three week pre-op appointment on June 20th. I don't know what that's going to consist of because I thought that the last thing that we went to was the pre-op appointment. So I don't, I don't know. So if there's anything that I didn't explain or isn't clear because I probably forgot something like I usually do, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for new videos every Monday. Bye!